Kelly Holmes, on her way to becoming one of the fastest people on earth. Only one of three women in the history of the Olympics to have won gold at 1500 and 800 metres during the same Olympiad. Her astonishing achievement meant an endless round of top quality chat show appearances. What I like about schools at the moment is they're getting really infused because they're starting to do all the Olympic kind of uh, history and class. And what I want is us to have a sporting nation because even though the majority of people will never get to compete at the Olympic Games, everyone can be touched by it. Fine, noble words. So we offered Kelly the teaching challenge to take a PE class with pupils for the first time in her life at Bridge Mary Sports College, Jordan, near Portsmouth. Right, Natty, come and sit down. Right, Joe, come and sit down. In our last lesson, we looked at the different strengths that we had between all of us. We had the selecting and applying. What else was there? What other parts of... of... Acquiring and developing. Okay, acquiring and developing, learning the new skills. <laughs> Health and fitness, what's the last one? Mikey, what's the last one? You can't, when, when you're running with the ball, you can't... No, not looking at a skill, because you've been talking, you don't know. Well, there used to be a few issues, mainly behaviour, but it seems that since we've become a sports college and we've had a focus, the improvements have been, you know, really, really good. Um, all of the kids are involved, they're thoroughly enjoying it, and it's definitely made an impact on their, their overall behaviour. So, um, fingers crossed, it'll keep going in that direction. But can a world championship dame conquer a classroom? Uh, she's going to be teaching what we call an E2 group, which is actually a Year 8 group. Um, there's some interesting characters in there, but no-one really nasty, so we'll see how she gets on. I think it'd be quite good, cos Kelly's an Olympic runner and everything, and we might learn quite a lot from her. I think the lesson with Kelly is going to be exciting and fun, cos she's, like, a celebrity and she's twice Olympic gold medalist. I think she's going to be serious because she's a celebrity and she expects us to work hard. Understandably apprehensive, Kelly was hoping for a low-key arrival into secondary school teaching. What have I let myself in for? <laughs> OK, well, they're, they're a really nice bunch of boys. They're, they're, they love being active, bounce around. Generally, they chat away quite a bit, but if you ask them to do something, they'll, they'll do it for you straight away. Um, okay. But they do they really, really love to be active. Um, but there's no one nasty in there or no one in particular to watch out for. OK. Um, but what are you hoping uh, to get out of coming to the school today and teaching the, the students? Um, I suppose seeing if I can interact with the kids in a different way than them just being Kelly Holmes. Yeah. Um, seeing if I can keep them engaged throughout the whole lesson, no one wandering off and yeah. uh, <laughs> being, being bored. Uh, my main thing out of the whole is that they go away from here having a lot of fun and enjoying the kind of lesson, I suppose. Excellent. So what I might do now quickly is just put some po cones around for the warm up, yeah. and then I'll um, once I start with them, I can. <laughs> go <for that>. <laughs> <laughs> I better get planning then. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly lays out the mini cones with the help of school prefects, while from the comfort of the gym storeroom, Kevin prepares to monitor her performance. She seems quite nervous. OK, boys. Hello. I bet you're not going to be this quiet later, are you? She thinks she's got the worst kids. We've given her some nice ones. They're just like chatting. Hi. <laughs> right, my name's Kelly Holmes. I'm hoping to take you for a PE lesson today. The um, objective of this PE lesson is to, for you to go away thinking that you've done some skills in terms of basketball, but mainly to have fun. All of you done a bit of basketball before? Yeah. I hope. Yeah. Good, so you're going to show me up, right? Main thing before we start is if you can make sure your laces are done up tight, don't know any uh, breaking legs or anything. Uh, it's not a fashion parade. We had to do some hard work today. That's a good start to the lesson. Started with a, a rough objective, which could have been clearer, but otherwise really good. And she's made sure she's 
done some safety, got all their trainers tied up so they're not going to fall over. Right, if you all stand up. Right, if you follow me to start off with, this is the way we're going to go. We're going to go in a figure of eight. You will be crossing over each other. I don't want no pushing, fighting as we go past. In basketball, it's about dodging as well, OK? Not colliding with your opposition. <laughs> OK, follow me. Right, follow me, just in a single line, around the outside. OK, you can't cut into the circles. Keep going round, back round. OK! Rather than just running and stretching for no apparent reason, incorporating the dodging movement of basketball into the warm-up is a really good way to get them involved in the lesson. Here you go, Ray. Right. Left. Just jogging on the spot, easy. Okay, circle one arm backwards, right arm. Circle your right arm. Forwards. What are we doing now? Shoulders, excellent. Okay, maybe there where she identified shoulders, she could have said maybe deltoids or tricep, the actual muscle that's being warmed up. Right, mate, what's your name? Adam. Can you show me one little X come this way? Another exercise for the legs, anything? What about the front? Excellent. Okay, you should feel it down the front of your quad here. This is called the quadricep. If you don't feel it... Really good, so there we go. So she's got a muscle specific name rather than just the leg. That's really good. Okay, what muscle is this? Tricep. Yeah, how do you stretch it? Anyone know? Excellent. Good. Okay, we're going to get the pulse rate up just one more time. Quick reactions. Basketball is about quick reactions and good technique as well, right? Okay, jump on the spot. A bit faster. Defense! 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 Okay, maybe they're sending all of the students over to one place to get a ball. They may come back with them, but it gives them an opportunity to throw them or shoot somewhere else. Hold the balls. That's it, hold them for now. Okay, give me a ball, please. Yeah, oh. Okay, this time, I'm just going to do little bounces with your fingers. Okay, when you're using a lot of basketballs, sometimes it's best to um, give an instruction or get them to hold the ball first and give the instructions without them bouncing the ball because they can't all hear and they don't all concentrate on what you're telling them to do. Good, keep going. OK, this time, must be behind the line. All right? So if you want to take a step forward, go and then push. All right? A strong push. First two to finish, go down, all right? Same again, go. Good, keep it going. Particularly with boys, they do like some competitive nature to their lessons, as she's just doing that, which is really good, competition to finish. Uh-oh, okay, stop there. When I say go, this group are gonna run down to that wall very quickly. This group are going to run to the green line very quickly because no one listened to what I said. Off you go. So she's showing the expectation she has of behaviour and that they didn't listen, so they have to do a quick run in between. Go. Good. Much better. Brilliant. Well done. Much better. I really like that. That was good. OK, see this ball? I'm going to jog on the spot. What I'm going to say is pass to the right. You're going to throw the ball round to the right and it's going to keep going round, OK? When I say left, the ball's going to come round to the left. If someone drops the ball, ends up with two, I'm going to get you in the middle doing an exercise. And the first one... OK, so so far her teaching style has been quite, quite command. She's been there giving the instructions and hasn't really been too much, you know, letting the, the students choose what they do or any any real independent learning it hasn't been go away and practice or it hasn't been given any of the students an opportunity to assess each other or maybe even act as teachers with, with each other Ready, go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. 
I wonder if you watching at home have spotted the person in this programme who was once an Army physical training instructor. Although this is not strictly a French lesson, Kelly introduces that old schoolboy favourite, the double entendre. Who's got balls? Me. Um. <laughs> you also need to be really careful about saying stuff like that because particularly with the boys, or will crack a joke and sometimes it doesn't help your lesson. Exactly. Right, go. Good. Next one. Go, go, go. Next one. Go. And oh. Try and get it. Who was that? Who I picked out? Okay, five goose necks jumping up high. Someone else didn't listen. Who else did I tell to go back? Okay, so she's maintaining her expectations that they follow the instructions she gives, which are really good. Are you listening at the back? All right. What do they call this normally? What do they call it normally when you run up towards? Lay up. Who can demonstrate one for me? Dan. Dan, that's all right. And then you can show me. Uh, peanut, huh? Oh, peanuts, okay. <laughs> right, that, uh, peanuts. Show me one. Sometimes using students' nicknames is okay, other times it's totally inappropriate, so generally it's better to use their name where you can. Although she's not actually obviously a teacher, I'd always say not to use things like mate or friends. OK, ready? Go! With officially five minutes to go, the class get to unleash their skills with a game of basketball. Okay, so Kelly's run through from, from start to finish all of her lesson, but uh, she's still unfortunately got a little bit of a cool down and a plenary to finish. Um, it's really important that you plan really carefully for the amount of time you have for your lesson because unfortunately Kelly would have overrun now, so some of the students, English or science teachers, might not be best pleased because their students uh, are going to be probably over five minutes late. So it's really important uh, and it comes down to your planning that everything you put in you can incorporate into your hour or 50 minutes. OK, just to finish off then from the lesson, what was the first objective that I said? And remember? Fun. fun. Excellent, fun. Was any of it fun? Yeah. 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 Good. yeah. <laughs> OK, so just a recap then. Everyone know why we did warm up? Yeah. Just show me a couple, yeah. tell me a couple of things, why? Aches, don't want to get rips and pulls and everything from the back yeah. of your legs and stuff. OK, this is a really crucial part now. Excellent. It's really important that the questions relate around the learning objectives and that Kelly gives them opportunity to show what they've learnt. Any questions? You can ask me any questions, actually. Did you yeah. enjoy yourself? Uh, yes, I did, actually. I quite I enjoyed doing that. It was nice. Do you polish your medals? Do I polish my medals? I need to. They're very dirty at the moment. In fact, I might have a little surprise for you in a bit. Oh, Is it chocolate? <laughs> <laughs> chocolate? No, I've already eaten that. <laughs> can you have my autograph? Yes. When did you first start running? I started running when I was 12 years old. And I started at school because my PE teacher wanted me to go into a, a race. And I came second, so I didn't win. But it gave me that kind of hope that, oh, maybe I can do quite good. Hold on, I've got something to show you. And so these are the gold medals that I won. This was 800 metres. And this for the 1500 metres. And I'm going to let you touch them. But I've locked all the doors so I can chase after you. If you try <laughs> running away. <laughs> and, don't, <laughs> and don't drop them. Are they worth a lot? Yeah, they are to me, yep. Yeah. Oh, very emotional. Uh, for me, since I was 14, I wanted to be Olympic champion. So if you can imagine 20 years of keep trying. 
a long time, isn't it? Is that real is gold? That uh, they're 16 grams of gold and the rest is kind of like a bronze. Oh, so who it. dropped it? Who dropped it? Oh, you are so in trouble now. How could you be this? OK, everyone touched them? I'm going to wrap up now. Like I say, thank you very much. Uh, just remember, when you are doing any type of physical activity or sport, try and get something out of it. Yeah, learn about what you're doing. Because later on, there might be something that you try in a PE lesson and you listen to your PE teachers and they might say, yeah, that was great and I think you should join a club. Just like my PE teacher did when I was an athlete, actually. It was my PE teacher that got me into athletics. If I hadn't listened to her, I might not have been here with these two gold medals. And the most thing out of everything is to have fun. Because if you have fun, you probably stick to it. And that's what I did when I was an athlete. All right, we're going to finish now, guys. Thank you very much for everything. Thank you. The boys have touched Olympic gold, and Kevin now escapes the assessment cell to give Kelly some feedback. How did I do? OK, you, you, you did really well. How do you think you did first thing? Well, I quite enjoyed it. Um, I think they responded well. You're always going to get some that kind of talk thing and you can never keep everyone quiet at one stage. But I think it was okay and I hope that I was able to progress it in the right direction. There's obviously different things I could have done. Yeah, the, the lesson made, was built up nice. You had a nice start to the lesson and then obviously the, the skills were worked through and finished with a, a small game, which is really good. Yeah. Um, how, how would you, you know, go about planning and, and the resources you would use when you come into a, a maybe either a new school or somewhere that you've been teaching? Um, I think the main thing is to have variety and to sometimes have a bit of imagination because it's really about keeping the kids engaged and having the fun element as well as the learning. So I think the reason why I kind of kept it quite skills-based and fun was so that nobody stands out and think I can't do it. Yeah. And also you don't want to bring down people that um, are really good at sports because that should always be applauded. But I don't want to ever put anyone down. So if it was pointing to someone, it was more for fun, really. And you're happy to model yourself, even though it might not have been one of your, <laughs> your favourite sports. Well, I think, I think it, yeah, I mean, I'm not a basketball player <laughs> at all. So where that comes from, I do not know. But um, I always think that you should always demonstrate um, beforehand. I thought the lesson was really good because, like, I was meeting a celebrity called Kelly and, like, she's a legend. I thought Kelly's lesson was brilliant. Um, it was fun. Also, it was a good learning lesson. Now, I haven't learned a lot of the basketball moves that she taught us that day. I suppose when it's a, a class and you have to think about a start and a finish and a progression in between, it's kind of like, oh God, how am I going to balance that? But I love working with kids and, you know, being a national school sports champion, it is about kind of engaging them really well and I've really enjoyed it today. <laughs>